Emerald Cup is such a pillar of the cannabis community. I call, I call them the hearts of cannabis get to come together and uh, kind of share their experiences and share their knowledge. You know, so many new ideas are born and different collaborative projects um, go underway. People call me with the problem. I say, I get there quick and I We got one straw farms in Burr's place. This is the world's first scratch and sniff from real cannabis turpins ever put on cannabis packaging. And it's so cool because you can do different levels. You know, you don't even need to fully scratch it. It's just a little rub and then a little bit. You can get a good smell. And then right. if you really want to dig deeper, you can. We'll have to keep doing innovative stuff together. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's an honor. It's an Seriously. Honor. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Try the scratch and sniff. Oh, I like yeah. this is kind of a gassy. What's up, guys? It smells like the bucket. I'm driving so fucking bad. <laughs> it is like, it's legit. What was it? It was one year, it was pretty much one year ago today. And you handed me this box and you said, there's nothing else like this out there in the world right now. And this is the only plant of it left and it was J27. So how did you come across J27? It was a very unusual situation. I met this fellow and he gave me 100 teas and these were from smoke that he had collected over the years when there was still seed in smoke. Well, I didn't have the facilities to treat this plant the way it has to be treated. So that's where you came in. And I thought it was very, it's a very essential to keep this plant alive. When I was a kid, I was, I was into science and horticulture, and I wanted to become a plant geneticist. I'm finally getting to do that. Re really very satisfying and a dream come true. I'd like to thank you. I wasn't able to actualize it in the way that Ben is able to do it. My 16-year-old self couldn't be more stoked. It makes me feel that I'm doing the right thing in this world. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, much respect, Ed. And he named it Potty Mouth just because it was so brax. You know, no leaf, all pot. Definitely looks like it's from another planet. Weed from another planet. That's it right there. So that's kind of the hot. It tests like 35% all day too. It's crazy. What's, uh, what's been hot this year? We saw a lot of clones or seeds? Um, good mix of both, but definitely the, the, the new ones, the, the jelly donuts, the Cali Octane, Gazerple, and pancakes. Strains also like mature and get I think almost better with time, you know, especially when you're constantly breeding with them, you know. Old is really great too. Even even OG is like retro now, right? <laughs> but that is, I mean that's like part of I don't I don't know any other company that like holds on to strains like Arcada, Humboldt train wreck is an original one. I mean we've had that going and been breeding it for over twenty years. At this point we have I think 80 different varieties. The old and the new, it's all good. <laughs> it was like a special favorite of mine, the jelly donuts. And that one's been one of our more popular sales this weekend. It's a special pheno that we found with our buddies at Casa Floor. They're just like a really amazing family farm, like super old roots in the cannabis industry. Like watching everyone, you know, come grab it and tell us that they've been waiting for it for a year and a half now. They're like, I've been trying to get this clone everywhere. Like, thank God you guys finally dropped it. Get ready, world. Here comes the jelly donuts. <laughs> I've been jelly donuts. Yeah, that one's an exciting one for sure. We've been waiting to release that for quite a while. Give me night's food. Oh, smell that. So nice. Holy shit. It came out so good. Yeah, I think we might enter it this year, actually. So. No, I'm like, I can tell that you kind of like walk down almost every turbine yeah, in that so thing. And it, and it has a lot of them. It does. <laughs> really. I mean, this place is like a family reunion. When you first step in, you're like, is it even real? Like, holy shit. Some of the biggest legends in cannabis are here. And I mean, they're wandering around like it's an everyday thing, too. And we're really lucky that Tim and Taylor and their whole entire team like provide us the opportunity to have a place to do this. Because, you know, for us, I think events like this are really like at the core of what is still beautiful about this industry. Celebrate and smoke with all these people and jam out to some good music. I would say that's the golden ticket right there. Emerald Cup, hell yeah.